Hey, welcome back. It's time for another Dueling Excel podcast. I'm Bill Jelen from Mr. Excel. I'll be joined by Mike Gervin from Excel's Fun. This is our episode 148, equal three quarters and. Boy, that's that's not a function, is it? That sure would make this uh, podcast easier, though, having a three quarters and function. So we're going to have to uh, do something else. The question from Unbelievable at YouTube need to pass three out of four tests. He figures it might have to combine some combination of if, or, or and. So here's the four hurdle values. Here's uh, the four values we need to figure out if three out of the four of those are true. And if we had a function like three quarters and uh, we would be good to go, but we don't. So uh, here's the trick. So in parentheses, check and see if this first value is greater than or equal to the hurdle value. I'll press F4 there two times to lock down just the row. All right, now that's going to return a true or a false. I need to convert it to a zero or a one, and so we have to do some sort of an operation there. We can do a minus minus before it, uh, but just doing a plus between each one of these will convert those trues and falses to zeros and ones. F4 twice, plus parentheses this greater than or equal to that. Oh, miss the F4 plus last one. Alright, so that is going to count how many of those are true. So in this case, three of them are true because uh, let's see which one was not this one. If we had a uh, credit rating of four, then four of them are true. So we'll undo that. Alright, now we want to know if any three of those four are true. We'll put the whole thing in parentheses and say, is that greater than two? copy that down and we are now testing for three out of four now as you watch me do that the parentheses are a real pain to enter would this be possible without the parentheses so here's the same formula without the parentheses I don't know the order of operations that well so we're gonna just test this using formulas evaluate formula and what I'm hoping is that they're gonna do that greater than or equal to before they do this plus so we'll evaluate there's the b11 there's the b7 uh, shoot so if they had gone to the greater than or equal to next, uh, then this would have worked. But right now they are doing the plus sign. So they're going to add those two together, uh, which is uh, not what we wanted. We're not going to get the right answer. So we're kind of stuck. All right. So before I throw it over to Mike, I just want to subliminally suggest something here. If you've been watching these podcasts for a while, the Dueling Excel podcast, I bet that Mike is going to come up with some sort of an array formula that would do this all in one big step. Mike, let's see what you have. Thanks, Mr. Excel. Hey, you know, this four logical tests, I like that. I like the simplicity of it. But yeah, typing in all those extra parentheses is a hassle. Hey, running formula evaluator, I love that trick because when you're not quite sure what's going on, formula evaluator will tell you. And that, that's just flat out genius. All right, I'm going to stay simple here. I still want to run all four logical tests, but instead of putting them in parentheses, I'm going to put them inside of the sum function. So we'll test the first hurdle. Are you greater than or equal to that? F4. So I'll make each one of these logical tests. Each one logical test will give us a true or a false. Check in for each one of these hurdles. F4 on each one of those. But the cool thing about the sum function is th the sum function will take a true or false, and by adding each one of these, that's the math operation that it will convert it to a 0 or a 1. So once I put it in there, the sum function will do the trick. Double click and send it down. And then I could simply come to the end and say, are any of you greater than 2? So 3 and 4 will be picked up as true. Totally good. Check the last one for the cell references. It looked like it's working good. I don't know, but I'm going to give uh, Mr. Excel the point here. Double negative. Bloop. Relative cell references 4. Are you greater than or equal to the hurdle? And we're going to lock this one F4. All right, so that'll give us a bunch of trues and falses. The double negative will convert them to ones and zeros in Mr. Excel's formula. Absolutely perfect. F2, and then I'm going to say, are you greater than 2? All right, throw it back to Mr. Excel. Hey, all right, Mike. 
absolute simplicity. I love that. Putting in the sum gets rid of all the parentheses. And the uh, the formula that I threw up there, that formula, that was not my formula. That was my guess at what your formula would be. That shows uh, uh, after I went through the the method that I would normally use. I was like, well, how the heck would Mike solve this problem? And so that was my guess. Uh, so hey, points all around. All right. Well, I want to thank everyone for stopping by. We'll see you next time for another Dueling Excel podcast from Mr. Excel and Excel is fun.